What's poppin' gang? Today, we're gonna be vlogging and mixing, mastering rap vocals and stuff like that. If you watched my last vlog, Day in the Life, I had to stop a session real early because the producer didn't send me all the files, but that's fine because that happens all the time. But he finally sent all that stuff today, so we're gonna be mixing that. I gotta go to Starbucks, get something to drink, man. I'm, I'm thirsty, hungry, you know what I'm saying? I had me some coffee cakes this morning, but that's not enough, you feel me? So I need, I need something else. Let's start our day. Yeah. Wake up this morning to hustling. Wake the next morning to hustling. Wake up this morning to hustling. Wake the next morning to hustling. Wake up this morning to hustling. Wake the next morning to hustling. Yo, if you like RBs, you a nasty motherfucker. Can I get a. Let me get a bar chicken, Scotty Wag, niggas bad, hella sad. Let me get it. You don't have that? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh. Before I mix and master a song, you gotta be well fed, you feel me? Yes, sir. I really just found a good quick little tip. I'm trying to mix this song, right? And I want the snare and the kick just to hit just a little bit harder. You know what I'm saying? But if you keep turning it up too much, it starts peaking. You know what I'm saying? You got lights start going off. You know what I mean? And I don't really like that, honestly. I don't like no peak indicators to be going off. You know what I'm saying? When I'm mixing a song, you can only do so much to a track to make it get as thick as you can. You know what I'm saying? Here's what I did. Here's the track right here. Here's, here's the snare track right here literally right here and um I, I just wanted to sound thicker you know what i mean so this is here real quick you know what i'm saying like the snare could be just a little bit better you know what i'm saying what i did was literally just duplicated the snare three different times you know what i'm saying and then like on the third one i kind of like turned it down a little bit you see right here these are the snares and I just turned it down just a little bit. I'm on the third track of the snare, it sounds so much better. USA, I don't fuck a lot of hoes. You hear that snare better. You, like a cow, I be playing hoes. you know what I'm saying? So definitely try that out. Say, about to go ahead and ship that off. Had a successful session. Sounds like a really good song. And uh, I'm done with it. So far, man, had a successful day. I got a lot done. Uh, finished the mix and mastered page session song, whatever. Now I gotta edit a video for this channel. Uh, I already recorded everything. Had to put in that work, man. You know what I'm saying? So I like vlogging behind the scenes, everything that I do. You know what I'm saying? This is the real day in the life of a music producer that really actually do work. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I really do work. And I just want to show you guys the process of what it looks like. I'm about to go to sleep. And then tomorrow we're going to wake up and get back to work. Good morning. Today we're going to be getting back to work. It's the very next day and I'm ready to get to work. So today we're going to be editing a video that I did for the channel. It is going to be out. That video is going to be called something like mixing and mastering with Slate Digital Plugins. If you want to see that video, click the card at the top right. But yeah, so I already recorded the video. I just got to edit it, but I just want to talk about something real quick. Universal Audio just dropped their new interface, the Vault 2 or the Vault 1 or 3, whichever one, 4. But I think it's a really good interface to go against the Scarlet. You know what I'm saying? They're pretty much priced the exact same way. I think this would be very interesting. So whenever it comes out, it's right now it's on pre-order and you can pre-order this thing. It should be shipping sometime in November. It's not like a paid sponsor or anything. I'm very interested in it because I can now recommend this interface versus getting a Scarlet when people have short amount of budgets. And then I got to mix and master the song. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really like the Scarlet's characteristics. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to like recording vocals, but you know, you can make beats on that thing all day and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? If you just want to make beats, I think this interface is way more better to like recommend because I just love Universal Audio's setup and their gear. And just look at the way how this thing looks. It just looks beautiful. You know what I'm saying? With the wood grains on the side. I'm really a fan of the design of this. Every time Universal Audio drops like a new gear or new something, it's built with some like new type of technology that you don't really hear about. So like in this one, they have like a 1176 compressor built into it. So I think that's super dope. I really want to try that out. 
Uh, I'm really thinking about picking it up just to make a video about it because I really don't need it. But I just want to make a video about it so I can recommend other people to it and just check it out myself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know in the comments if you think I should pick that up and make some videos on it. I'm highly, really interested into it. You know, personally, I've had experiences with dealing with other companies and that price range. And, you know, I didn't have the greatest experience because, you know, it just broke down or something. And then uh, I got to buy a new one. The company says, oh, you know, you just hit us up and then we'll send you another one, blah, blah, blah. But I don't want to deal with that. You you know what I mean? If it's broken, I got to sit and wait until I got to get a new product from you guys that you send over. This is a different experience versus buying a product and then not breaking at all. You know what I'm saying? And that's the type of experience I've had with Universal Audio. So I think that recommending this type of interface for that price range would be much more better for people like me who mix and master a lot of music for other people who don't have high budgets. I'm very interested in seeing when this thing drops and very eager to recommend it to other people because is universal audio so let's go ahead and set this whole thing up okay all right normally my screen pops up but uh it is what it is What's up, you guys? So I actually got to go ship off the Scarlet 2i2. One of you guys actually purchased it. So shout out to one of you guys. So I got to go ahead and ship this off. I've had fun with it. I I've had many sessions, where I paid sessions with this thing, and it's time to let go of this interface. I don't use it anymore. I've used multiple different interfaces, and I just, I'm ready to get rid of it. So I just sold it for a couple bucks, man, and, and I could put that to something else. I don't know, who knows? I got a song that I got to mix. Shout out to the artists out there in Russia. They sent me a session that I got mix. You know what I'm saying? We worldwide with it, you feel me? So uh, yeah, they sent me a session, and I want to go ahead and set the set bro up right. Okay. And uh, what's good, baby? My little daughter, chilling. What's good? You okay? She so just chilling. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get started. And uh, while I'm mixing this song, you can't forget, you gotta eat, you know what I'm saying? My wife made a little bit of shrimp potatoes, you know what I'm saying? So I'm about to go ahead and get into this. And uh, let's go ahead and run his vocals through this Neve 1073 preamp. Let's go ahead and uh, hit that. I believe that's uh one, two, yep, that's good. Yes, sir. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go ahead and run his run his vocals through this thing, man. Um, one thing I noticed for sure, need to turn it down a little bit. But uh, let me go ahead and play it. This is just the vocal by itself. Maybe a little bit of high end. Okay. Maybe like a little boost in. Yeah. All right, gang. So I just finished the song and it sounds so dope. The artist all the way out there in Russia. That's dope. Shout out to Russia, man. Shout out to Brazil. I know I got a lot of uh, subscribers from different locations and stuff like that. But shout out to you guys that support your boy and um, not afraid to support yourself. You know what I mean? And invest in yourself. Shout out to you guys, man. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and end the video. I appreciate everyone that's tuning in to the videos and everything. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see on this channel. You guys stay safe. And remember, it's only a matter of time. Peace.